With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is given a smooth block is released at rest on a 45 degree incline and then slide a distance d. So the time taken to slide is the n time as much to slide on a rough incline. So then on a smooth incline, the coefficient of a friction is we have to find a coefficient friction. Now here we take a inclined plane. Here this is a this is a 45 degree and here this mass is a m smooth block means here this here this block is a here. Now at a distance this distance is a d. Now here it's a given for smooth time t and rough is the n time. Now here this is the n time for a rough. So here firstly we see here this is a smooth for a smooth. So here velocity is a zero. Now here this is a component. This a um, weight is mg downward direction. Now here component down here mg sin theta and here this is the mg cos theta means that is the n we have to only this direction component so here in that case smooth when it's a smooth so component we have only this so acceleration we can write here this is the a1 is equal to g sin theta now similarly in second case for a rough here second case rough so here this is the FBD for a rough block and distance is the same, same and this is a 45 degree. So here this component is here this is a mg sin theta this component mg sin theta and here friction force is on this side mu n. So this is a mu n n is equal to mg cos theta means this is downward direction mg cos so here we can write a mu mg cos theta and mg cos theta is n. So here we can write this acceleration a2 is equal to g sin theta minus mu g cos theta. Now here equal now equal to the this distance. So here we can write half a1 t square we can equate this distance so here half a2 n time t square this is a for a smooth and this is a for a rough so here we can calculate this is a half to half cancel and t is a cancel this one t and here a1 is equal to a2 n square so here a1 upon a2 is equal to and here, so now here we calculate a1 and a2 value. This is a a1 value and this is a a2. Now here we can put, so here a1 is equal to n square a2. So here we can write this is a z cos 45 degree and this is a n square z sine 45 degree minus mu g cos 45 degree. So here it is equal to z y under root 2 and this is a n square. This is a z under root 2 minus mu g under root 2. So this is z under root 2, z under root 2 cancel. So here it is equal to 1 y n square is equal to 1 minus mu and here mu is equal to 1 minus 1 y n square. So this is the solution. Now here we can check the option which one is the right. So that means the coefficient friction means the here. This third option is the right. This is solution to this question, guys. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.